Okay, my brother, who is a very smart person and also a mechanical engineer, came up with a great idea where he modified my uh, homemade oxalic acid vaporizer. This is uh, my oxalic acid vaporizer consisting of a 12 volt glow plug for a diesel engine, a little aluminum block spot to put the uh, oxalic acid. What he did was I had given him some high bodies. These are high bodies that I made. The bottom board I make specifically, there's another video on it where there's a tray, room for a tray in the bottom so that you can either catch the uh, Varroa for a mite count or you can block it off for winners whatever the reason I have a spot for a tray well I've given him one of these sheets so that he could block off his hive what he did was put a hole in the center and put one of my oxalic acid vaporizers into the hole in the uh, bottom uh, tray so now you could do a oxalic acid vaporization treatment without disturbing the hive at all. You just put your oxalic acid in it, turn it on, slide the tray in, and uh, if you'd like, you can close down the entrance. But it just so happens that I've got entrance reducers from down to a very small opening on all my hives, so I don't even have to do that. So I'll show you how this can work pretty easy. I take my oxalic acid that I buy in bulk. I think I got this from uh, Amazon.com, like wood bleach, whatever. Anyway, we fill up this tray here. Okay, slide this in. Now, because it's attached to a big metal plate, it takes a couple minutes longer, not quite a couple, about a minute longer than it normally takes to vaporize it fully. Normally it's two and a half minutes maybe, so I let it go for three and a half minutes when it's on this plate. We need to make sure these do not short out against each other. Okay, now we're hooked up. Let's get out of the way. Um, running this now on a battery charger but I put it on the start setting as in my previous video okay it is now on so I time it and we'll let it go for three and a half minutes now what I'm going to do is step out of the way because the gases that come out of here, the fumes, are quite noxious. Okay, you can see a few, a uh, little bit of fumes escaping out the back. around here and show you the entrance you can see the bees are coming and going like normal um, no vapors coming out the front <coughs> boy I can definitely tell it's in the air no worry of getting stung
don't know if you can tell in the video, but there's a little bit of fumes coming out of the top of the hive. <coughs> okay, that was three and a half minutes. We just unplug it. At this point, we just need to let it cool off. And, uh, oh, you can see some vapors coming out down there. So there you have it. Very simple, simple vapor treatment without any disturbing of the bees. Okay, this nuke, um, I don't want to open up the little entrance to put the oxalic acid vaporizer into the nuke. It has a screen bottom board so I just put the vaporizer right underneath the hive. You can see some vapor coming up around the hive but uh, eventually it actually starts coming out the, the lid so I know it's getting through the hive completely. Yeah, you can see some vapor coming around from the bottom. Open up the top lid here. Yeah, the entire top is full of vapor. So there doesn't see a need to really close off the entrance or even the bottom uh, if you have a screen bottom board because the natural chimney effect of the vapors going up into the hive will saturate inside the hive. When I looked inside the top it was, that top part is the feeder, I have two jars in there, some palm patty, but that was completely filled with vapor. That means that uh, the entire hive is getting vaporized. So that works too. So I don't have a little skinny metal bottom board or little metal dividing board with the vaporizer in it. So I just stick the uh, vaporizer directly under the hive. Okay, just want to show you a little bit more here after the treatment but this is Thanksgiving week it's Sunday and you can see the activity in the hives that uh, this is in uh, San Jose California and this activity will continue year-round it does get busier in the summer but it doesn't really taper off like it does in other parts of the country where it gets cold there is flowering plants all around the city all year long. Even though we have a drought, people do continue to water. So you will uh, get honey all year round, uh, nectar and pollen. I'm not sure how much the bees slow down as far as the queen laying and stuff like that. But I do know that come February, I usually have to pull a bunch of honey to keep them from getting honey bound going into spring. Also these are on the top of this hive I added some upper entrances to try and uh, entice the bees to go straight in there with honey and all summer long uh, the bees never went in there. Uh, you'll, you might see a bee come out and sun herself and then go back in but I never saw any field bees use the upper entrance which uh, Thought was interesting. If you look real careful, you can see there's there's a bee in there. They don't close up the hole with propolis. They just kind of hang out. Occasionally they'll walk out onto the front porch, hang out, and go back in. So they're interesting little bugs.